hey guys welcome back to crown geek and in this video i will be explaining you that how to download install and use ffmpeg on windows computer so you might have seen many other videos where people are explaining that how you can download and how you can install it and but they are not giving the proper tutorial that how to exactly use it there are many people like personally i got four to five view, uh, like request that they want to know that how exactly to use it because they most of them are they are failing because everyone is not so technical right so i will be explaining you step by step first how to you can download it and then how you need to install it and then how you to use it but uh, you know like i'm bringing all these videos to help you so like to help me please consider subscribing to the channel just hit the red subscribe button it's totally free okay let's start the video so the number one you just need to go to google and the google search ffmpeg and you will be getting the first link click on it and now here in the green tab it says download click on it again and now here you have two options either you can click on download source code or here you will see three different icon so whichever uh like i'm explaining for windows so i will go with windows if you are using app you can go with this apple one okay now once you click on windows you will be getting this option windows built from gyan.dev so you need to click on it and then you will be redirected to a new website just scroll down to git section here this one and then click on the first link so this is the exact link from where you can download it and i will leave this link in the description so click on it and you will see the zip file is uh, like a started downloading all right so what you need to make sure that you should have a zip extractor like winzip or any other software through which you can unzip these files all right I have already downloaded this so I won't go through with this long procedure. So once downloaded you need to open that file. It should be in the downloads. Here I have okay. So now I don't want that you know like this should be in the download folder because what will happen by like sometime accidentally or we clear the download file. So what we have to do will click make a right click on it. And then I will choose uh, uh, extract or I will choose extract files. Okay. And after that, uh, you just need to choose the destination. So I will, I have to do in C drive. So choose it. In your case, if you are any using any other, then you need to browse the location. Okay. Once done, click on okay. And now I will go to my C drive. And I will see that FFmpeg should be here now. Here it is, okay? Now I already created before. So what you need to do, you just need to make it simple. You make a right click on it, rename, and delete all this suffix and just leave to FFmpeg, okay? I have already one so I was just explaining you so I will delete this one and make sure that you edit and make this name ffmpeg so that it can be easier for you to understand all right now once done we need to add this folder to the path to windows path so that you know whenever we use this command to convert any file we do not need to manually open every time this folder okay so in order to run it you just come here on the search icon and search env and just click on this link edit the system environment in variables and here the some system properties will be up you need to click on environment variables then again come to system variables here and look for path so you need to open this you can click on edit or either double click on it 
and now here we need to add the path so how you will be getting the path let me just go back to c drive okay so you need to open the folder and then open the bin folder now here you will see all these three exe file which are required to run the commands okay so we need to copy this command so you can just click on the address box here and simply press ctrl c or make a right click here and copy click on copy now again go back here so here we need to add this path so click on new and paste the same command here all right so i already added so i won't be uh, just i will delete this one so once you add you will see that the path should be here so once done click on ok again on ok and again on ok so now you have successfully downloaded and installed windows uh, sorry ff mpeg on your windows computer now i would recommend you that you should restart your computer before using it all right so once you have restarted your computer now you just need to open your command prompt that can be opened by typing cmd and here you will be coming to your command prompt all right so for example now if you want to convert any pictures or if you want to reduce the size of the picture or videos i would recommend you that you should keep those files under the pictures documents or in the videos folder only not to any other like on desktop or to any other uh, destination this will definitely ease your task many of the people fails uh, to use this command because they move the file to many uh, different folders all right so make it simple keep your pictures in the pictures folder and videos in the videos folder all right now if i go to the pictures i have this uh, this one is a jpg file okay so i will make this name shorter so that it should be easy so it's uh, the ladies brushing so i'll type it brush dot jpg so what i have to do here i need to convert this file to png it's a jpg file so i need to convert to uh, png all right so what i will go i will just go to my command prompt and now in order to check that ffmpeg is working or not you can simply type ffmpeg it will verify that you have successfully installed so if you get this message it means you already have uh, ffmpeg on your uh, windows computer so now what you have to do now you have to go to the destination so we have to go to the uh the pictures path here first okay so i will type cd space pictures and hit enter so now we are in pictures where we have our m so you can check by typing dir and you can see brush.jpg so this is how you need to follow every instruction very carefully okay so once you are on this folder okay you can see that i have brush.jpg in my pictures all right so now the command will be ffmpeg space minus i space and the name of the file that is brush.jpg and again a space and now we have to type the name uh, for which we need to convert like if we want to convert to png so we will type the name so i will make a little change so that i can easily identify brush one dot png once done hit enter and you will see that the process started and completed all right so again i will go to my pictures and you will see that the brush one dot png has been created okay i will also do the same for a video so that you can better uh, understand now here i have a file sub dot mp4 okay so let me go back again so it's in the videos section so i need to exit from pic uh, picture so i will press cd dot dot and then i will come to videos all right so dir i will check the file name it's here sub dot mp4 now if you want to compress it you want to reduce the size so type ffmpeg and then type minus i and then the file name that is sub dot mp4 and then sub 
so if you are compressing so you can give any name like subcomp mp4 okay hit enter and this will surely you can see that it's uh, running the process you need to wait do not come uh, exit it out or do not close the box until this has been completed so now you will see that the new file has been created and if you check the file size the original file size is 946 kb and the real size is 513 so we just saved around 400 kb of a space okay now if you want to uh, convert this mp4 file to mkv so how you can do that again you need to follow the same command it's very simple ffmpeg space minus i then the file name that is sub dot mp4 space again the file name sub and then i can give one so now i want to change to mkv so i will type the extension okay and hit enter and again you will see that the process has been started and quickly it will be completed and once done you can see the new file has been created here and with the new extension dot mkv so this is how you can change the extension of any audio any video and pictures by following this method so hopefully this was helpful video for you and if yes please consider subscribing to support me as i'm trying to support you to help you and i will be really thankful to you all of you thank you so much and see you in the next session bye bye